on this episode of Searchers, we're at the John Julius Lemoyne house. But this thing's perfectly brown, like it was molded. All right, so I finally get to find something. And that would be my first flat button. Oh my god. What is it? I about a history. On Searchers, we combine myth and history to find the truth. So we're back with a new episode of Searchers, which, as Brian just said, it's at the end of the year, but hey, we're finally doing it. Yeah. Uh, you know, we've got past pandemic and whatever else, and we're finally getting together and having a good time. We're at the John Julius LeMoyne House uh, at the Washington County Historical Society. Brian, you and I, uh, we did an episode of Laid Back History yeah, here. talking about the house. Talking about the house, <laughs> and so we're building a new research and education center. And uh, we did some demo work of the wonky additions that were yep. off the back of it. And so we thought before we start construction, which should be starting soon, uh, let's do a survey. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm glad you picked now to do it because all summer long it was really easy to dig in. But after all the rain and the freezing <laughs> I especially love how he has his facing directly into the sunlight. Yeah. You know, one of us doesn't have sunglasses <laughs> on nor a hat, so but I now, can't see diddly. Now the ground's frozen, so yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's a good thing. That means well, no one else can get to it. So here's my thought. <laughs> if the ground is frozen, when you're digging your squares, you can get much better edges. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's exactly the reason. <laughs> but you know what? All summer long, you know, I was kind of salivating looking at it. And I was walking across looking for stuff. There, there, there's a lot of stoneware. There was redware. There were um, some shell, shell buttons. Okay. So, I mean, there's definitely stuff that was just laying right on the surface. Well, yeah, so, I mean, and, and Rich, you, uh, we just got here. I'm going to actually have to film you uh showing it to me but you've already found a flat button yeah, right yeah just right probably where brian's standing somewhere in there yep. just about a little bit over so i mean we've already found stuff how oh, deep yeah. how deep was it four or five inches four or five inches yeah so it was pretty close when they did the work brian so they're gonna have turned some of this over so we may find things at different levels you know i could uh when i was out here digging it it seemed that it was still pretty intact right and, and what i mean by that is yeah we got probably what now is a demo layer on top, but um, there was there looked like there was intact layers underneath, which means we'll have artifacts coming from good context. Excellent. So I think we're gonna have, I mean, we're hoping for a good day. We've got the Monyoc uh, Archaeological Society. Is that what they're? Uh, they're part of the, they're, they're in a, a chapter of the Society of Pennsylvania. There you go. So the Monyoc chapter, they're here helping. We've got some help. So you'll be seeing them as we go around. Uh, but if you want to see the history of this, uh, I'll put a link to the uh, to the laid back history episode that we did on this on this property. Uh, so after you watch this, if you want to go back and see some of the history of the home, uh, we talked about you know what we thought some of the construction yep. might be because there's some weird additions off the back Very of it, weird. and uh, we told some of the history of uh, John Lemoyne in the home. So uh, we're going to do some digging, some detecting, some archaeology work. And uh, searches is back! Yay! <laughs> well, I'm going to start detecting. Alright. Hey, does that tell you how long it's been since we've been detecting? I have a spider web on my coil. Well, that's your <laughs> fault. <laughs> you got to clean your tool more often. Yes, sir. Alright. It's a pretty good sound. Reads 37, which... It's really high. Still sheeting. Part of the house. Yep. Take it. We'll take it. So this is why you should look in your backfill because 
as Clay was leveling the spot here that I just dug that piece of flashing out of, he was leveling it and said, hey, look. <laughs> so it's a bullet. Now, I, this isn't, you know, it's not, it's not like a Civil War era bullet. It, it's later. Um, and I believe these things here are called cantilers right here, uh, which would help it. I think this is like some kind of, this is probably a cartridge cased bullet, you know. Um, at least that's what I think. And it's probably about a 45 size is what it looks like. Um, it's not healed. Um, healed would mean it would have been a little older. So this is probably from, I don't know. It could be anywhere from the late, like mid to late 1800s on up, you know. But a pretty cool find. Good find, Clay. I got a little round ball. It's not one of Clay's round balls? Yeah, it's kind of, it's a little bigger than Clay's tiny balls. <laughs> but this thing's perfectly round. Like it was molded. It's not like a normal marble. And it's tiny too. Oh, it's a marble. Yeah, it's not, it's not lead. Okay. So, yeah. I got a coin. <laughs> I don't think it's an old coin because it's it's got Lincoln on the front of it. But I think it's a weedy. Yeah, it's definitely a weedy. So let's let's see if I can get the date. I hate this. I really do. You know, it just stinks. Getting so old. Oh wow. It's a 1945. A little 1945 weedy. So as Clay said, this was my first hit about two minutes into detecting this morning, other than one piece of aluminum. And that would be my first flat button. So age. You have to ask Brian. Brian's the button expert. Brian, what's the age on the button? What's that? What's the age on the button? Um, is there any back marks on it? Yeah. Uh, and it's probably, it's like 1810 and later, like yeah, maybe up to 1840. Like it looks like it's folded in. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah, if it has, it'll, they'll say like double gilt, triple gilt or something like no, that. No, 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 it's... I can't tell, wait. I think that's a little older. Oh no, what, I think what you have is a tomback, but... Is that the tomback? It, uh, that would make sense because it rang up almost like it was lead. Yeah, it's tough to say without it being cleaned up a little bit. Yeah. If, it, if it's a tomback button, it's definitely 18th century. Okay. If, if, if the buttons have like markings on the back, like it's a guild or triple guild, double guild, something like that, yeah. then they're going to be post like 1810, 1840. Okay. I have a mid-tone, but this isn't what it is here. Um, actually got a nice little shell button look at that you can tell it's shell by just looking at it yeah. right there you can kind of see the shell you know the, sh the nature of the shell right there of it but it's a four hole you know it probably been something that could have been um you know maybe on the cuff or or actually probably up near the top you know something like that um you know shell buttons i'm trying to think like off the top of my head i don't know i think i think I think they're mid to late 19th century, but I'll have to check to make sure. Uh, but pretty neat though. So these guys are digging in, uh, a shovel test pit, and you know they're down probably. Well, a shovel's head, so they're down a little about about a foot. But you know, we're, we're digging like this to get down through what is all of the deposits, natural soils, and then down to what we call a sterile subsoil. That's what they're digging for right now. But I guarantee you, you know, they they probably got that because if I'm gonna look at the look, just look at the wall real quick and seeing where they're pulling this out. You can see right here, let's just clean this wall up real quick. See that real black stuff down there? 
So there, that would have been a ground surface. This is all destructional fill and stuff, but see, they, they're getting it out of that, which is probably the old, the old A horizon. Um, and where the sheet midden associated with the 1826 house would be. Okay. Well, these guys found a, a nice little, uh, it's probably an 18th century, you know, era button. Um, it's a, you know, it's got a little bit of concave to it instead of being like an actual flat, flat button. You know, you can see here it's, it's concaved. But, you know, a little smash post in there. We'll have to clean it out to see how it's attached, but it's probably soldered to the back. Um, that's a pretty neat little button. But I, I, I would say that that's probably, you know, I put it into that 18th century range. What we got? Couldn't be a coin. Some damn thin thing, anyway. And something with. Needs cleaned. Something with markers on it. Holy shit, that's a coin. Yeah, yeah, I, think, see, I think I have a little brush. Here. What? Oh my god! What is it? I freaking found a pistarine! And that that's is. That's a Spanish silver coin! Here, clean it off. Oh my god. Wait a second here. Let me get the water first. What did he find? He found a pistarine. This is a Spanish coin. It's I think it's a pistarine. Looking at the size of it. Here, you want to bag it? Yeah, we'll bag it. Let me take a look here real quick. Now where was it found? In in deep. Uh, Deep, deep. Probably, we're it's probably down uh, about 19 okay, so inches. Place, so what you need? Don, is that your first coin? Yes, it is. Exciting. Uh, <laughs> and a Spanish one at that. Uh, <laughs> hey, Brian, you got a button. Another one. So. Oh, yeah. And if you take a look at that, that's what they call a tomback button. If you look there, you can see it kind of has that little like pyramidal dome in the back right there. Sometimes, I, I think these are what they would call, they're like spun, um, but that's what Tomback looks like. So that's, you know, 18th century all day long mm -hmm. right there. And so that would have been, so that clay was, that we were almost down into the clay, weren't we, Doug? On that one? Yeah. So that, that was probably, probably right, right above the clay. Which in, I think you were saying that this is probably... This is right in where the old kitchen was. It's right, yeah, the old kitchen was right, the 1826 kitchen was right See, here. The thing is, too, like we don't know, it could have had a dirt floor problem now. Uh, originally, yeah. Yeah, uh, who knows? So. That's pretty neat. That's a great find. All right. We found quite a few buttons today. We found, yeah, we have a lot of buttons. That's a nice size one. Yeah, I like that. Cool. All right, so we're digging another STP, and <coughs> this soil is the stuff that's coming out right near the bottom, which is sort of like right above what would be the B horizon, which is your clay kind of subsoil. You know, nothing's going to be in that. So we're right down on top of it. And it looks like we got another really old coin. Really? Do you have any idea how much I hope it's just a penny just to screw with him? <laughs> oh no. Not more like that. This is all surface stuff here. So if this is another Spanish coin, so that's, we're batting a thousand right now. And two holes, they got coins. I'm not really sure what we have here. I don't think it's Spanish. And it looks copper underneath. That is copper. Uh, what's it say? Good for one? No, that could be... <laughs> Let me take a look at that again. On what do they call this? I can't tell if that's a two in there or what. I don't know what that is. All right, so uh, you're here with future <laughs> Brian and future Clay. Mm -hmm. We'll get you back to uh, to the episode, but I wanted to stop real quick because uh, we don't know the difference between silver or copper. <laughs> apparently, so uh, you know when we pulled the two coins out. I mean, they were so dirty and yeah. wonky. Yeah. I mean, um, and it was hard to tell what they were. I, I think the first coin, especially, 
We thought it was just tarnished. I just thought it was tarnished. Yeah. You know, because sometimes silver can come out looking black and right. dark. But uh, it wasn't. So they ended up yeah. both being copper, which I think the second one we did say was copper. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, we just thought we'd, uh, you know, cut in here real quick and Brian can tell you what the heck yeah, these are. So that we're, we don't look like total fools or idiots. <laughs> Um, well, listen, here's the thing. You said something that it's not in the episode, but you said something during the filming that you don't know everything that comes out of the ground. No, Everybody uh, expects you to because that's what you do. Just as because a, I'm an archaeologist. Yeah. I don't know everything from 15,000 BCE <laughs> to 1950. Right. I mean, I know about three quarters of it. But. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like I know most history, but there's some I don't know. I know yeah. Exactly. Well, that's the same thing. Yeah. But you're restoring, you know everything. But I mean, the things that came out, it takes some time to clean it. It does. And, and we and have actually, to research it. Right. And see what it is. So <clears throat> we're cutting in. Let's see what we got. Then we'll get back. All right. So the first coin that we found, which was this larger one right here. All right. That was the first one we found. We thought was silver. And the reason was the reason why I got excited was because I had found a pistarine that had that. It had columns and stuff on it. When I saw that. Yeah. It's so right there. Here's my pistarine that I had found right there at a. I mean, that was pretty cool. Now you can see that that's big and shiny. It came out like that. <laughs> I just realized, I'm just looking at myself in the camera when you mm -hmm. held that up and I'm like, oh. <laughs> but, but, you know, I'm so excited. Here's the thing, you know, this came out of, you know, like in a field. Right. right? These were coming out of kind of fill looking stuff and it was dark looking so So that could, depending well, on what's in it. There was trash in there. Yeah, I mean, it, it could be in yeah. the uh, uh, coal ash and stuff does funky oh, yeah. things too. too, yeah. too, too just uh, metal and, and even ceramic artifacts. Right. But but what we found out was after we did a little research on it, um, and I think Rich had said it, he was the first one to come up and say it. Yeah. He said, hey, I think that might be a Spanish cob. And he was correct. Um, they are Spanish cobs. This is actually a two Maravedis. Mara? Mara, Mara Vades, okay. Mara Vades okay. uh, coin. So two is the denomination. Now I know people are like, whoa, so what was two worth? I've been trying to find that out, and I'm telling you what, I really don't know. Um, all the only thing I could was find was double one. Yeah, all I saw was someone in 1929 was trying to figure out what Columbus's expedition cost because it was in Mara Mara of 80s. Okay. So they were trying to figure out what it actually cost. That's something I could find. But I know there are some um, there are some articles out there about you know because in colonial America there was so much denominations being used, and that's why I think we talked about why they would weigh coins. Right. So they would have known exactly what these, you know, so who knows? Maybe the Maravedis, I'm just taking a guess. Let's just say maybe it was worth two pennies. Right. Maybe. Because the other one that we found, this one here, the much smaller one, um, it is one Maravedis. Okay. Um, it's also a cob as well. They're both Spanish cobs. Now, the first one, 1662, 1664, it is definitely um, a Felipe the Fourth. Okay. All right. Definite. I'm definite on that. This one here, I'm not too sure about. I think it's earlier. Um, it could be a Philippe the Fourth. It could be a Philippe the Third. Okay. Um, but there just isn't anything to denote it, and that's it. Just I think it's the way it's struck. Unfortunately, when these were struck, the dates weren't on them. They were just off of where they were supposed to be. But definitely 17th century. Definitely 17th century. That's I mean, just think about that. Cool. Two 17th century coins out of two holes. The first two holes we put yeah. out there. I mean, those are the oldest coins that we have found as searchers. Uh, I, I, that's the, um, the oldest coins I've ever seen, and I'm an archaeologist, come off of a site. That's nice. the oldest ones I have seen. Here in Washington, PA. Washington, PA. At the, the John Julius LeMoyne house. I thought I was doing good when I found a 1718, um, what was it? Uh, it, was a, was it, a, it wasn't a farthing. You mean a little silver? No, it wasn't the silver one. I I, I found a, a a large set, like a, oh, okay. a, a British coin, yeah. seventeen eighteen. I thought that was doing good because this was seventeen twenty eight. My silver one was seventeen twenty eight. Yeah, new, <laughs> exactly. But hear the ring of that. Yeah, oh I my know. gosh, that silver ring so pretty. Um, but yeah, but I mean, mid definitely mid seventeenth century. You know, I, amazing, cool. amazing. And I think the cool thing is, is that. I think we could definitely tie these to the occupation of John Julius Lemoyne. Well, the nice thing about it is that we're going to get back to the uh, to the show. You'll see some of the, the other finds that we had. Uh, and then, um, I don't know, we'll 
I think we'll, we have a closing that we're going to do. Oh, yeah. And then uh, we definitely know we're coming back. So yeah, we're definitely coming back to get more stuff out of the ground because I think we have a great opportunity of getting some great material culture. Well, let's go back to past Clay because yeah. he has a find coming up. Well, what is it? All right, so I finally get to find something. Uh, while we were while we're digging these holes and we're screening them, I've just been taking my pinpointer, putting them in the hole just to see if anything hits, and I got a hit. And uh, did a little bit of digging, and uh, Brian couldn't steal this one from me. <laughs> I got a, just a little uh, little button. I don't know, period, Brian. I mean, probably 18th century. It looks like it's a little dome button. It's got some. It's hard to tell, but there's some actual pattern on it. The loop is still on the back, so. We'll get it cleaned up and uh, see what we got. So I finally got a button or got something. At least I found something. <laughs> you know. Since Brian stole the coin off of me, really, I had it and he stole it out of my hand. If I'd have been near the hole, I'd have, I would have saw it and I would have jumped in. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do we got? I'm not sure. I got to think about that for a second. You sure it's pearlware or, or is it white? Well, look for the glaze. So what's the difference between pearlware and whiteware? <laughs> whiteware is basically white, but it has a glaze on it. Yeah. Okay. But it can have, like whiteware, you can have um, transfer prints, you can have uh, 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 the spatter, you can have uh, flow blue. So what's pearlware then? It's the finish. Yeah. Okay, it's the finish. It's the way they glazed it. Yeah. Okay. It always has the blue pattern, the white and blue pattern. Okay. All right, guys, so we are wrapped up for the day. We had some absolutely incredible finds. Two Man, coins. This was a good day. Two, two 17th century coins. Yep. Yeah. A, a bunch of buttons, a flat, the flat button you found. Yeah. Yep. The uh, shell buttons. The uh, what else projectile? did we find? The projectile, the projectile, which we don't know exactly we don't what it is. We haven't figured uh, that one out yet. We found a lot of different types of uh, you know, ceramic wares. Right. Which is pretty neat. You know, we found some red ware, white ware, maybe some pearl ware. Found a piece of an old flower pot that we're not exactly sure how That's old right. it is, but it could yep. be very old. Yep. Okay. Because flower pots, you know, right. back in the 1860s and stuff like that. Yeah. So a lot of great stuff. I mean, I it was so. actually a good day. Oh, this uh, was a great definitely got to thank the Monioc chapter of the uh, <laughs> S. Yep. Uh, SPA. SPA. SPA, SPA, yes. SPA. I'll, I'll get that at some point. But. You know, I'm just, I'm thrilled, you know, we're going to be able to save. <laughs> yes, we tore down a portion of the of the home, but we're going to save all the history from it. We're yeah. able to find out everything underneath it, though. Well, that's true. We wouldn't have found, we wouldn't no. have known this if we had renovated it, you know, yeah. uh, which was not going to happen. Most people so. would come in, tear the stuff down, and build right over right. and not even question it, but this is a very historical house. So, so we're coming back next week, next and week. we're going to be doing what, Brian? We're going to be doing uh, test units. So this week was STPs, which are shovel test pits. They're just kind of like a sampling methodology to see what's in the ground. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to be putting in uh, what they call test units. Um, one meter wide by one meter wide, about three foot by three foot. Um, but we'll we'll sample the layers as we go down so we know exactly where the artifacts are coming out. Of. Right. Um, and all these different, because we have a word, there's like a destructional kind of episode out here of course right uh, but then underneath that is where all of the really I think where the good artifacts are coming out of it's like that old kind of surface of the ground out here right. where mm -hmm. Julius Lemoyne been walking on yeah so I'm excited about it um, I'm excited because next time we film I'm gonna put the camera in the right spot so that I don't look like um, I shrunk six inches but Rich <laughs> you look huge right now you're probably crossing five seven the way we're standing right now. I feel, now I feel it's like be clicking. Brian's like six, <laughs> six, six at the moment. Brian's like, I'm going to stand on this mountain. I'm always going to stand on this mountain from now on. <laughs> well, see, the problem is the camera doesn't get your feet, so they can't tell that you're both wearing high heels to keep your knuckles from dragging. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, guys, thank you so much yep. for, for joining us. We had a great time. Oh, man, this was a great day. This hopefully, was a great day. Hopefully you, know, you enjoyed it. If we're out here, stop by. And see what yeah, we're next yeah. week we're going to be out here. So this, what's today? This the, is Saturday. Saturday. I know, so but what's the today. day of the week? I, the the day of the week is Saturday. Uh, uh, what's the, the date? <laughs> the 9th. The 9th. So next week is the 16th. 7th, 16th. 16th. Yep. That's what I'm trying to figure out, jackass. Um, <laughs> you make me swear. My mom used to tell me that I made her swear. She said she never swore. <laughs> you can't put that in. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> You know I gotta do that at least yeah, once. I know. Yeah, because <laughs> now I gotta make a strange cut to try to make this work. <laughs> anyway, 
Well, on the 16th, <laughs> come on out. We're gonna be uh, working again. We're gonna be putting in test units. Yep. So if you want to find out what it's like to be an archaeologist, which I'm not gonna lie, folks, it's not the it's most not, exciting thing. Yeah. But when you find something, it it's is awesome. so awesome. It's exciting. It is so cool. Um, it's the it's the you know out of an hour the 59 minutes of everything else that's worth yeah, yeah. yeah for that but, one minute excitement but come on out we can always use volunteers uh so we're going to be here at nine o'clock on the 16th come out we'll see what we can do yep all right cool we'll see you next week for another episode of layback history